Well, West Michigan, it's going to be a warm and beautiful day before we get to showers and some potentially stronger storms later on tonight. We're going to be breaking some records with these temps as well through each and every day part. I mean, look at where we're starting this morning. Is it February? It definitely doesn't feel like it out there. We are in mostly the lower to upper 50s this morning and these winds a little bit breezy. We will continue to pick up a breeze today, especially in the second half of the day and really carry that over in tomorrow. It's going to play a bigger story for those storms tonight and tomorrow as well. But again, dry and quiet. We can start off this morning with a little bit of cloud cover and then bring on that full sunshine as the day goes on. Here's our system for what's going to push in later on this evening and really affect us as we get late into our overnight hours. So today we're just going to build that heat, build any little humidity, build some instability. But that cold front, it comes through throughout the overnight hours, not during the peak heating of the day. So that can play a factor in our storms as well. Here's 3 p.m. Uh, sunset is after six o'clock. So anytime after six o'clock, I'd really say anytime after seven or nine, uh, definitely start to be weather aware with us. But here's this line coming through around the midnight 1 a.m. hour. And this is when we have the best chance for those stronger to severe storms. It's going to push up from southwest to northeast and then through the overnight temperatures will plummet. So we're going to switch from any showers and storms to a wintry mix in snow very quickly as we head into tomorrow morning. So much of the day, dry, quiet, sunny, absolutely beautiful. You're going to think, hey, what gives? Where's these showers and storms? Just got to wait a while till this evening, but 69 degrees. If someone hits 70, we've never done that before in February. So we'll see what happens for the day today. But for this evening, we are in the slight and marginal risk. Most of us in the slight risk for those stronger to severe storms. Wind and hail will be our biggest concerns. We can't rule out an isolated tornado. The best chance for an isolated tornado will be uh, uh, further to the state line to our south. So definitely tonight while you're sleeping, need to make sure you have a way to get alerts. It's the most dangerous time to see severe storms while everyone sleeping 32 degrees overnight. The temperature overnight is definitely going to fluctuate because we will have falling temperatures as we make this transition. Here's 5 a.m. tomorrow. Things already feeling different. We're in the 30s and 40s. We can have a flash freeze with any water on the roadways can cause a bit of icy and difficult morning commute. Then we'll get into that light snowfall for the first half of the day as well. Temperatures for much of the day landing in the 20s and that light snow minor accumulations, but it's this drastic change that I think everyone is going to notice as we'll be dry then for the second half of your Wednesday. Gusty winds last into Wednesday as well, and uh, we can see wind gusts upwards of 40, 45 miles per hour. That then in turn is going to make our already cold temperatures feel like we are in the teens or single digits. So a big turnaround for what we're going to feel for the day tomorrow compared to the day today that 58 degrees is going to happen closer to around midnight and those temperatures plummet 36 on Thursday cold for one more day and then look how quickly we rebound. We're back in the 60s by Sunday 68 degrees with rain chances on Monday as we will continue to stay on the warmer side. Climate Prediction Center keeps us there for the next 8 to 14 days as that now takes us out to March 11th.